All right, sports fans, this is show 150. Show 115. And we have a guest today. You wouldn't know what was going on here before. It was supposed to be finished, but, you know, we haven't started. So today we have, uh, should I call you Harold or Buzz? Buzz. What? Buzz. B-U-Z-Z. -Z. He said Buzz. Why don't you, you buzz off? No, now don't we you have, buzz off. Be we nice have, uh, All right, you're going you're gonna to tell us. Hey, it's going to go bad again, Ed. What? <laughs> no, the audio didn't go bad. I went bad. I'm past my due date. Uh, you, Buzz is an author. How many books have you done? I've had 13 published. No, wait, wait. I've had 11 published. Number 12 is coming out this July, and I'm working on number 13. Wow. And you're still... At least I was until I came on your show. Yeah, well, <laughs> you won't be well enough to work on it again. What are some of the names? Women I have met, or uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. Oh, those are your books, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoot chickens I have taken. Yeah. No, no, this is this. Is, I showed you this. Yeah, yeah when, when here a flu. Is that the? Uh, uh, wait a minute. That's is, it. is that the Tuskegee? That's historical uh, fiction set in World War II. That's my most recent. Is that the Tuskegee Airmen? No, this is about. Uh, U.S. Airmen who raided the Boeste oil fields or the. OSD oil refineries in Romania. Wow. I never heard of that story. I thought you, would, you used to do weather books, right? Well, now that you ask. Why did I ask? I wall? Yes, I that, no, I wall. You, he, you misspelled a wall. No, I wall, Ed. Oh. Oh. Come on, get with it's the It's an E and Y E. I wall. got to be doing with hurricanes. Don't tell me what it is. <laughs> right? First book, book, number, number one, one bestseller on Amazon, Amazon Kindle. Kindle. Beautiful. Right? I'm proud of you. Well, give my hand for that. Uh, and we got uh, uh, Supercell. Super wow, wow. Supercell. That, 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 that was the name of the girl uh, down the street. Yes, I did go on a tornado chase. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wanted one. Supercell. Did you do the uh, perfect uh, storm? Blizzard. The blizzard. Hey, buzz, but not in the blizzard. So how? Yeah. Uh, are you a millionaire by selling all these, or? He's just uh, to make a living. I've lost pretty close to a million bucks trying to do this. No, that's Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> no, most authors, authors do not make big, big, big bucks, believe me. Well, you've got to be on this show more often. That's for, that's for the, uh, the lucky two dozen or whatever they are. That's how do, how make money why don't we make a Hollywood story out of it? That's not up to me. You know, uh, you know, got Steven Steve Spielberg's Steve number? number? Give him a call yeah, after yeah, the show, Ed. Yeah. You mean yeah. Steve? Sure. Well, that's Steve Goldberg. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call E.T. We're coming in. So what, uh, how, what's, what's the normal sales on uh, some of these books? In the thousands. Don't, will you, now, if you sell the book for 20 bucks, first of all, let's get you, how much are they, an estimate of how much they sell for? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean uh, most of my books are sold uh, on e-readers, Kindle, Kindle and Nook. What was that, you know, Nook? Those are six or seven bucks a copy, and if you sell the trade paperback, which is what these are, uh, that at uh, fifteen or sixteen bucks. Wow! And if you have a, a hardcover, only the last. Two of my Two books have been in hardcover. Hard that's, that's 20 bucks. 20 bucks, something like that. Wow. But, but I don't sell, sell many of those. Like, like I, said, I said, most of the sales are evil. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's, that's not, that's not that's big books. Well, no, that's why. It, this it, is it's your, a nice, comfortable supplement to an old retired guy. Yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start crying here. Okay. Okay. It's pollen. No. So, so how did you get the next? Yes. Yes, you were going to say something? No, I said I sent you a Kleenex if you're going to start crying. They're probably right. from the toilet or something. <laughs> so <laughs> I gave him an idea. Uh, how did you get the name Buzz? I know this is a fascinating story and people want to know. It's not very exciting. No, but I was a junior. You want to know? Was, he wants to know. Dino wants to know. Okay. I was a junior, Harold W. Bernard Jr. Named after my father, obviously. And, 
He had already taken Harold and Hal. I didn't like my middle name, which was Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T. So when I got the nickname Buzz, that just stuck. And, and Buzz was came from a friend of my father's who looked in the crib when I was a little, a little tight and said, Boy, he's a real little buzzeroo, ain't he? <laughs> what the hell? I'm raising the name Buzz just stuck. Well, I, th I want to thank you for that, but uh, we'll be cutting this section out of the show. <laughs> I, I think that would be a very wise <laughs> idea. I think <laughs> most of your viewers are left now. Is yeah. that your, yeah. your uncle who did that? A uh, friend uh, of his father. No, it's a friend of the family. Well, uh, had, had he been uh, having a little schnapps before that, or what? Well, I don't know. How would I remember it? I was I wasn't old enough to drink. I was only two, so you know. Yeah, hold it. You wait taped another it. Another couple of years you before I could drink. You taped it. No, he didn't tape he it. He taped it. How can you tape? He was a toy, two years old. Because his father had it. He didn't like his friend. <laughs> All right. Let me. Like, I thought maybe you something like you used to go after mosquitoes, so they called you Buzz. That would have been a yeah, better thing to do with mosquitoes or baseball or flying. I, yeah, I thought you had a blazing. I told you it was a boring story. I thought you had a blazing fastball at one time. That's why they called you Buzz. <laughs> boy, I was in right field most of the time. Right field? I was in. I didn't have a blazing fastball. Yeah, right field. That's where you put the guy who can't. <laughs> can't do anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's really an important position because you could you could try to throw the runner out at third. Well, if you got left-handed hitters, maybe it's an important position. No, actually, I played mostly first base. Where'd you play? First base. First base. Oh, one of the lazy ones. I ain't going to go after the ball. You go after it. Yeah, exactly. All I got to do is run to the base and catch the ball, right? Which is the problem sometimes with the throws. All right. Well, this concludes our show early today. No. Uh, so, uh... What else do you have? What's going on in Atlanta? What, you live in the Atlanta area? I told you, it's been, it's been 70, 70 degrees, degrees the last three days, days, and here I am sitting in my office, office you know, talking, talking to some, to guys, some guys, up guys up in Massachusetts, Massachusetts where there's where probably, probably still three, three feet, feet of snow, snow, right? Wrong again, Oscar. We're down to four inches. Three, four feet four of snow. Four inches. Yes, yes. And it's melty now. What, what happened? happened? What happened what to winters? winters? Well, we got 45 winters, degrees. They, they only show up for a few weeks, and that's it. We didn't hit zero this year. He's cross country ski up there all winter. winter. Not anymore. Uh, well, I know it's changed. I hear something called global warming. Yeah. yeah. Stupid weather. Now, the good weather we have, and the bad weather, Texas. Oh, Texas, that's another story. Right. How did that ever happen? Global warming. Global warming. I know. Nine thousand dollars for electricity. But you know that global warming doesn't really exist, right? <laughs> That's right. It doesn't. <laughs> it's a circular. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't exist. It's like sunrise. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. That's another thing. You know, around here, what they're doing every day on the TV. Well, you know, the sun's getting higher in the sky, and it'll melt that snow faster now, more effective. And you know, the days are getting longer. I mean, we're and there'll, there'll really be, uh, you know, sunset, they got the sunset thing. You know, it'll be close to 7 o'clock, but by the time we go to daylight, you know. Well, who cares? <laughs> I do. Hey. Don't you like the daylight, daylight? Hours, hours of daylight, daylight getting longer? Get longer. You can yeah. Get out and work in your yard and play golf and go jogging and all those things you like to do, Ed. Yachting? I play in my bed, though. Remember those little submarines you put... I lost three of my best ships last week. Which one? <laughs> Did you hear that? Three, two aircraft carriers and a sub. It took on water. <laughs> well, you never made Admiral, huh? No, he never no. made it. He's but lucky I made to make chief of kitchen police. Yeah, he made a captain. Captain? captain. captain. We don't know. I don't know. Captain in the captain army or captain in the navy? navy. Yeah. <laughs> Neither no one. question. You were. He got a. <laughs> He got a scholarship for Mussolini to go to college. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, no, yeah, well, his name is, the last name is. No, uh, no, he's, uh, he's full of baloney. His name is Gino Fratelloni. I wasn't even I mean? born by the time he was. Uh, Three Fs, two Ts, and one E at the yeah, end. Yeah, shut up. Fratelloni. He's a okay, guy. Okay. Yeah. He's a, 
He's really well, you, dying. You, you, you can get your pizza, pizza from, him, from him, right? right? He doesn't. He eat it first. <laughs> He's from uh, Venetia, right? He doesn't even know how to say it. <laughs> Venetia. Hey, I'm going to say it the best light possible. <laughs> Blow it out here, you. All right. We're good, we're good. We got along well. I'm glad he's not my brother, I'll tell you that. <laughs> We're not blood related. I asked for a transfusion. Uh, he's a lot luckier than you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I have your address, don't I? You'll be, what's that ticking? In the... <laughs> Dog will be going by the door, <laughs> pointing, right? Yeah. All right. I got two questions. Do you see us well now? Uh, too, uh, too well, well yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too well. Hide? <laughs> He's, I, I'm an airplane pilot right, coming in for a landing. Uh, so uh, what else would you like to talk about? Because we have, do we have uh, seven sure, 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 yeah, yeah. What, what? What'd you say? Your show. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Don't give me I'm that right, garbage. Right. You're the guest. What would you like to talk about? <laughs> Tell us Tell a story. story. No, I don't want to be bored to death. What, <laughs> <laughs> what? How about a story of your life? You were born on a mountaintop in Tennessee, right? How'd you know, How'd you know that? that? Well, you were on TV as Bess Parker. No, I was born in Eugene, Oregon. Oregon. Well, I wouldn't brag about that. I was born in Brooklyn, baby. Ouch. Uh, we all can't have good luck. Right now. I'm yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never went to Coney Island. No, I haven't. I haven't. I've never been to Where should you go Island. now? Or Fire Island. Or Fire, yeah. They had the Jones I've been, Beach. I've been to Long Island. What is a Long Island? The real Long Island or the one in Boston Harbor? No, the no, one, no, one in New York. New York. Where'd you go? Been all the way out to the end of it. That's called Montauk Point. The Bridge Hampton. Oh, oh, oh wow. Automobile racing. Oh, yeah. Now, he was actually, he had to go to his mansion. <laughs> you, you had three of them, right? You, you had Mansion to the Stars, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Trying to get the big bucks from my writing. Okay, well, good. Yeah. <laughs> that and the Social Security check will get you something. <laughs> you're not, you're, are you allowed to say what percentage you get out of all this? I mean, if I, if I had a book sell for $40, Dream On, what's the percentage I would get as an author? Um, I think it's about three. three well, I, I, it, it, Typically, ebook I would get 40%, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, print copies, it goes down from there. And then if I have an agent and I don't have an agent anymore, I used to, then you have to give the agent 15. Wow. Well, you need an agent? I'm available. <laughs> oh, that's why I don't want one. I don't want to give anybody else my 15 percent. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put it into stock and you'll have nothing but with my choices. Uh, get me a movie yeah, deal and I'm going to talk, talk yeah. Get, get you a movie deal. You have a motion picture camera, don't you? He's yeah. got one. Put you in there. All right. Okay. Good. Let's start, start. Start. What? Fine. It, it's start. I can see what get, you had. Maybe you can get on some TV show. Huh? What do you think? Uh, 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 Why not? I, I, they got echoes yeah, in their sound. That's, that's the problem. problem. No, that's here. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's here. here. Okay. You mean a real TV, TV show? show? Watch it. Yeah, a real one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any questions, Gino? Come on. No, I'm I'm, I'm amazing. He look at it, thirteen. He's going to the thirteen book already, and I'm pre I'm very impressed. He does a lot of writing. I mean, uh, did you hear that comment? Very, you do a lot of writing. Dino, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the yeah, one that's, that's coming out in July, July is set against the Jimmy Doolittle raid on Tokyo. Tokyo. How did you switch uh, to that stuff? Huh? huh? How did you switch to that? From weather. Uh, well, I, I was always interested in that uh, raid on Boyeski. Uh, before, before I started, I started writing, writing. writing. Oh, all right. Uh, boy, this boy, would this make would a great, great novel. novel. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had no, no idea, idea how to write, write a novel. novel. And after, and after I, I, I published, published my first, first five, books, five books, I came back, back to the idea of doing a novel about the P-24 raid on Boyeski and took it there. And I got interested in historical fiction. 
Uh, boy, this boy, is this really, is really fun. fun. Fun to fun research, to fun to write about. about. Really Very interesting characters back then. then. Bravery, Bravery beyond, beyond reproach. reproach. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine. imagine. I can't imagine myself doing what so many of these young men did in World War II. Now they don't even teach it. Well, and that, that was, it, I mean, obviously this was the greatest generation, but that generation. And it just it amazes me to read about it, and that's really why I wanted to write about it, too. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them about the story about your father? Go ahead. This is about his father. True story from Italy, World War II. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, my father was uh, a designer. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. And uh, one, one day, <clears throat> a colonel came by, German. He happened to speak Italian. He says, uh, can you do me a favor to my father? I, I need a pair of boots because uh, I guess from Germany to Italy, they were not coming, you know what I mean? So he says, maybe, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe I need a pair of boots. My father says, yeah, I can see that. So he took <laughs> the measurement and everything and, they, and he was getting ready. He says, come back in two weeks. And in the meantime, my father was helping people, the Jewish people, getting out of Italy. They yeah, go through yeah. the church, and they go to Rome, and from Rome they ship them out all over, all over the world. And one guy came in, he was a major with some, some Nazi with him, and he said, I heard that you are helping the Jewish move away from this area. My father said, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about. So the guy said, look, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you I'm going to put the gun right on your head, and you're going to tell me if you know anybody that should put, help put a move to move from here. He says, I don't, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. So in the meantime, the colonel came, the, because the two weeks went by, he figured he's going to get his boots. And my father was working right on the boots, shining and everything. He gets in and he sees this major with the gun on my father's head. And he says, hey, act home. He said, he, he, he stood up and he, and he uh, to the attention. Now the colonel, he had more people in his side than he, the, the major on his, his own side. He said, what are you doing to my friend? He says, well, I hear that he's, he's helping the Jewish getting away from here. He said, look, he told you he does it. I heard him. He said, you better get the gun that way. I'm going to have my men shoot you right here now. He says, so they had some conversation in Germany, in German language, and all of a sudden he says, Jawohl. So he says, he took the gun away and he, and he went away with his men. My father, poor guy, I think he must have pooped in his pants because he, uh, <laughs> I probably I would. <laughs> and, the at your and he, head. And he, uh, yeah. And the, awesome. the, the thing is, he asked my, uh, the colonel asked him, to, my father says, is he telling the truth? He says, no, I'm only trying to finish your boots. I says, uh, I was going to give you as a gift because you're a nice gentleman and I want to wish you a lot of luck. So he tried the boots. He, he left the old boots and he, he walked out with the new boots and uh, he took his, his, uh, his uh, soldiers with him. And he never saw the major again. I don't know. They must have sh shipped him out someplace else. So he, my father was never bothered again, and he was still helping the Jewish getting away from that area. Wow. wow. So he saved a lot of Jewish story. people. Yeah, yeah. And I was told that when I was growing up, because I was, <laughs> I was a little baby like you were, what your, 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 your father's friend called you Buzzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. story. He saw a lot, my father, poor guy. Yeah. God yeah. bless him. Well, my, my, my wife grew up, my former wife uh, grew up in uh, Nazi Germany. Germany. Mm. She was born in 1933, uh, lived there during the war years. And uh, I used her 
story of growing up and living in Nazi Germany is part of the background. Yeah. For Hero Slew. Right, right. Yeah, one hero. Yeah. Uh, which, which, which is told, told from, from the viewpoint, viewpoint of, of American B-24 pilots and a German Luftwaffe fighter pilot. Yeah. So I incorporated her family story into the German pilot's backstory in the book. So that's, that's where... Uh, a lot, a lot of the of background, the background of when the hero slew came, came from. from. Huh. And it was yeah, really it was another driving reason why I got interested in writing historical yeah. fiction. So, so much, much material, material from it is, yeah. that era. It's, a, it's terrible because, you know, in that, in that period, the German and the Italian were was friends. But the question, a lot of Italian people were helping the Jewish to get away from, from Germany. And the only way they could, and even in, we had a lot of them in Italy, and uh, they, we wanted to help them, you know, because of their human being. We find Absolutely. out what they were doing with them, you know what I mean? Put them in a gas chamber, you know, in a, con oh, terrible. What, I get the shivers, I, mean, I can't believe it. What, they, what those people did to, uh, to people, it's unbelievable. I, I, I do imagine. Yeah, and I, I, I almost lost my father, you know. Only because he was trying to help out. You so know, did he finally immigrate to America? Oh yeah, we, yeah, he did. Yeah, he was 57 years old when he came. He worked oh, wow. in, a, in a in a company that they need somebody to to do design, shoe design. He was very oh. lucky. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much of a loss. And he, skill, had, and he ended up sure. working for a Jewish company, and I told him the story oh. to the Jew, the owner. And he was so impressed, he, he kept him until he retired. <laughs> yeah. That's great, right? Yeah, very, ni very, very nice very people. Nice. Uh, thank you, Gina. I don't know about you. <laughs> Tell us a story, Ed. <laughs> I love him, you know that. He, he, we just like brothers, right? Oh, we like brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be nice, will you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't told you to shut up, have I? No. Oh, he told me not to. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go again. Thank you. All right, now, here we go, Buzz. These are the 15 of the ever best three ever created multiple choice questions with obvious answers. You're the guest. You'll go first, all right? Say something, Buzz. Oh, I thought you had the questions. No, Buzz has, no, Buzz has passed out. All right. Oh, I can I can ask you a question. How'd you get started in this television show? Sheer right? genius. <laughs> no, I did weathering the weather with Ed first. Yeah, I started out as a weather show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I started this one. You thought of this one? Yeah, I did. I did the, the most famous, famous guest you've ever had. I, I, I got tired of. I, I, I got interviewing. I got tired of interviewing rabbits. So, <laughs> so uh, I. Uh, Tell me you, tell me you enjoy people. That's why. That's why, because I love people. I love. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I did forty-eight of the weather shows, and I've done. A, this is the hundred fifteenth variety show. Yeah. Very good. Thank good. you. Good. So send me some money. All right. <laughs> hey, who, uh, no, who is, who your, is most your most famous, famous guest? guest? You. <laughs> told you how. <laughs> told you how bad it's been. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you were on before. Any, any, yeah, it was, yeah, what, a couple of years ago? There's something like that. We, we burned that episode. We got rid of it. Uh, How long ago was that? I don't remember. All right, we I got four. Too. What's that? We got four. I would have two. Good. Got Go four, ahead with your questions. questions. I don't know what you're saying, Buzz, but I like it. Right. <laughs> we got four, 14, 403 left. All right. Right, you're ready. Number one, has it ever snowed at 90 degrees? These are multiple choice. You can phone a friend if you want. And we want to get the crew in there in the, in the control room to get ready with remarks. It's, it's, snowed, it's snowed at 90 degrees, degrees north. north. Of course, course it's snowed, snowed at 90 degrees. degrees. Are you done yet? <laughs> Let me ask the question. All right. A, a don't, don't know. B, yes. C, possibly. And D, what a stupid question. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, I, I, said I said yes. yes. B, B right? right? I'm talking about 90 degrees temperature. <laughs> Oh, not oh, degrees. Oh. You writers are all the same. <laughs> Temperature. Well, 
No, of course not. I don't have no as an answer. The answer is the correct answer is what a stupid question. All right. <laughs> Well, I right. failed that one, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, you're busy writing. All right. Well, I may as well ask the dog. All right. All right. You ready? Oh, he's, he's, freezing he's, he's rain. Fell asleep. He's, he's bored with the show. show. Hey, can I get on with this, please? <laughs> Thank you. The, the freezing point of water is at 97 Fahrenheit, 62 Fahrenheit, 32 Fahrenheit. This is what the students would pick. You ready, Buzz? <laughs> 862.734598. Degrees Fahrenheit, because it is so exact. <laughs> they would pick that one. And what 32. Are you what? 32. Very good. See? Up to you, Buzz. I make him happy now. <laughs> who? who? Fahrenheit or centigrade? I said Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, okay. You got a no, wax no, problem sorry. there, buddy? I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention, attention, I promise. No, don't do that. Number three, who is president of the U.S.? A, Wendell Wilkie. B, Bugs Bunny. C, Daffy Duck. Duck. D, Joe Biden. I thought, I thought Trump, Trump was. was. <laughs> okay. All right. There goes your contract. And we're running out of time. Don't believe him. What do you got? <laughs> you don't believe Trump? 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 Okay. Moving along. The answer is Joe Biden. <laughs> All right. The Boston Herald. You ready? Yeah. It's printed in what city? A, San Fran. What happened to the beeps or buzzes when he's wrong? <laughs> Thank you, he's wrong. He's wrong. What? <laughs> the Boston Herald is printed in what city? A, San Francisco, B, L.A., C, Boston, D. I have no idea. Yes. Okay, I, I could say I have no idea, but I think they're doing Boston, though. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Who was not president of the United States? A, Abe Lincoln, B, George Washington, C, Mickey Mantle, D, Richard Nixon. Mickey Mantle. Thank you. <laughs> you had to think about that too. Amazing. I, I, know, I know. The eighth month of the year is A, October, B, January, C, August. 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 Thank you. You're not on. You're up next. You're on. Wake up. What do you do? Write your books backwards? I turn down? Yeah, it is. How many Major League Baseball teams are in, are in New York City? A, four. Students would pick this 63.754932. C, D, or uh, C, 12, or D, 2. Two. Two. Very good. He had to think about it again. <laughs> what's the, long, long, yeah, long. what's the, yeah, but get it off. What state is Memphis, but, but, Tennessee? Take a little longer. May, longer. May, may I, all right. <laughs> Moving along with that one. <laughs> we already got the answer to that. All right. Atlanta is home to what baseball team? A, Dodgers, B, Mets, C, Braves, D, White Sox. Braves. Thank you. Oh, it wasn't my turn, was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more for you. What pitcher threw a perfect game in the 1956 World Series? Foghorn Leghorn, Tweety Bird, Elmo Fodder, Don Lawson. Hey, look, the first three don't exist. I, 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 but, but, <laughs> Jesus. I kind of like Foghorn Leghorn. Though. All right, that is wrong. Favorite. Give him a buzz. Oh, Don Larson. Don Larson, of course. They don't care. Right. You know We're that, out of right? time, Buzz. It's been real, but not that real. I want to tell you that. Nice to, nice to know you, Buzz. <laughs> what, what, is he leaving somewhere? No. Good, just, uh, good luck. Good, good luck, luck with your books. books. Good luck with your thank books. You, you. And good remember. Luck. Huh? It's been my pleasure, pleasure to be on your show. Yeah, be again, don't, okay? Don't give me that don't malarkey. Back in 10 years. Don't give me that malarkey. Don't give me that <laughs> crap. Get back on the springtime. I wasn't born yesterday. Don't give me that garbage. Hey, tell them to come back in the spring. You can come back whenever you want. Just let me know. Okay. okay. I'll tell you the show's canceled. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. Thank you very much. Listen to the music. And so then is dead, but Cohen is and when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Ed's a Joe who always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. And can't or something, Berg will sing some song. There's weather news and schtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came.